July is a special, very special month. But ladies and gentlemen, why? Because in this month, maybe normally mid-June to mid-July, we are fasting. Normally, we are doing our mid-week fasting. But we just want to thank God for direction. Amen. Direction. This time, I can assure you, those of you who are praying, you can feel it. Amen. Those of you who are engaged in this prayer, you can actually actualize that things are not normal. Things are what? Abnormal. Hallelujah. This today, I want you to come to, uh, when I was praying, I realized there are so many things that demand you. One aspect, apart from laziness, apart from ignorance, why people don't pray is because there are so many things that demand your attention and your time. So many things. When at times I look at my priority when I wake up, I find out that everything is a priority. You look at the first five things, all of them, you can say, maybe this has to be number one. Maybe this has to be number two. No. It's everything becomes a priority. But what I have come to realize now is, if you want to do one priority, another priority has to what? To wait. Hallelujah. Another thing has to wait. Therefore, today, I want to bring you to the level where you have to say, some things have to wait in this month if I am going to pray. If I am going to experience the end of my drought, certain people, I have to put them away. I have seen, I am very interested in seeing people's statuses. And I see sometimes on WhatsApp, people putting, I am now off on WhatsApp. I go like, wow, somebody is off on WhatsApp. <laughs> they put on their profiles, not access accessible to WhatsApp. I feel that's the time that you can say, okay, there is an English, there is an England match. It has to wait because I need to work to pray. Ah. There is this a friend, indeed, is like, I need to visit you at your home. They have to wait. Certain things have to wait this month. If only you do that, it's part of your sacrifice. Hallelujah. And remember, obedience is better than one sacrifice. So, the topic today is certain things have to wait because I am waiting upon the Lord. Hallelujah. Why are you not talking to me? It's because I am waiting upon the Lord. Because I have decided. Hallelujah. I have decided to do so. Amen. We are walking with the King of Kings. Not just the King. We are walking with the healer. Not just the we are not we are not working with that we are not working with a chlorophenical no we are working with the healer hallelujah <laughs> you are not working with a first aider you are not working with paramedics you are not working with a nurse no you are not working with god this year you are working with the doctor of the doctors hallelujah that's how intense how you should organize yourself why it should give you the fear hallelujah the fear of putting something to wait because you want to talk with your dad why has this been like this why has this been like this? why my life has been like this but i am i've got good news for you god has got a plan for you hallelujah God has a plan for you. That's the first thing you need to know. Amen. God planned that in 2024. For example, if we use Yolanda, that will be in London. 
God has what a plan for you. Hallelujah. She spoke in something that when I hear, you know, I always hear when people are talking. Amen. It looks small, this church, but it's what big. Amen. Why? What makes big a church is the word in you. That's why you can be in a 10,000, 10, up in there, up in there. But, you know, if you found me in those days, you wouldn't look like that. This is the guy, no? You wouldn't. Yet, I was among that number always, and I would used to be number. We were fighting to go into the church. Fighting. We were fighting with our fellow brothers who were controlling the parking. But I realized didn't change me. Nothing changed. Nothing. I was the same going in, going out, going in, going out, going in, going out. What makes a church big is how big the word of God is in their hearts. Hallelujah. This is how you should undertake this next labors of your life. I said last week, the church is facing challenges. The church is facing challenges. That's why we need to walk with him. Amen. So when I am walking, I am walking with the healer. When I'm walking, I'm walking with my financier. Amen. When I am walking, I am walking with the one who gives me joy. When I am walking, I'm walking with the one who can pilot me from London to Malawi. Hallelujah. He is everything. He is everything. When you walk with God, you got everything. You don't need, you look at these celebrities. When they are walking, they need a guard. They need this one. They need an ambulance. If it is a president of the United States, oh my God, you see the whole convoy. Convoy of spies. Convoy. They will come before even the president comes, spies and so forth. No, I just need to walk with God. And I've got protection. I've got bodyguards. I've got bankers. I've got people who can give me uh, wisdom. I've got everything manifesting me. Hallelujah. So God is one stop shop. Amen. God is what? One stop shop. It's not the Tesco who started a one shop, one stop shop. No, 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 no. God in the beginning, in the beginning. Hallelujah. So we will, I will remind you 1 Kings 18, verse 41 to 44. 1 Kings 18, 41 to 44. Do your book best, Jairus. I know. God has a plan to me. Even though it may appear that hope is gone, God has a plan for you. It's 1 Kings 18, 41, 44. I know the computer sometimes is playing now. God has a plan for you. Even though it may appear that all hope is gone. Even though it may be that everyone is finishing the rest without you. Even though it may appear that everybody is finishing the rest without you. I have got a good, I've got a good news for you. That at the end of every walk, especially of this today, every drought, every drought finishes. Amen. Because I'm walking with you. It's 1 Kings 18, 41, 44. It says, Then Elijah said to Ahab, Go up, eat and drink, for there is a, a sound of abundance of rain. Say, a sound. A sound of abundance of rain. Hallelujah. I saw somebody on their WhatsApp, they put that a prayer is a Wi-Fi to heaven. It's not. It's not. I refuse to that. I saw it. He said, say amen. I said, I didn't say amen. If God hears prayers. Prayer is a sound. <laughs> Hallelujah. Prayer is what is not. It's not a Wi-Fi. No, no, no. 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 It's a, a sound. Hallelujah. It is. A, so, he says, I, I can hear. This is the man of God. I can hear. What are you hearing? I can hear. When the Holy Spirit was coming in the upper room, what did they hear? A sound. A sound. That's what drives a drought. 
a sound, hallelujah, sound from heaven can dry your drought totally and terminate it and bring it to an end. Amen. The sound today for you is the word of God that is coming to you. Hallelujah. The sound to do you today came forward as we praise and we worship. Hallelujah. Jesus is more than able to do it. Hallelujah. Therefore, hey, when it was told to Ahab, he says Ahab went up and eat and started drinking. I like this. When I looked at this, I was like, this lazy, lazy, lazy lady. He just, the man said, I hear the sound of what? The sound of abundance of rain. And Ahab believed. You, you know, when you read it, he be, she believed. She believed what the man of God had said. Therefore, for her, it was what? Done. It was done. She went up to eat and what? And they started drinking. But the man of God who had spoken the word of God, he went on a mountain. Hallelujah. July is the mountain camel. Amen. July for you is Mount Carmel. Hallelujah. As you enjoy the sun, as you enjoy everything you need to send to, July is uh, the month of Mount Carmel. What do they do on Mount Carmel? They bow down on the ground. Hallelujah. They bow down on the ground and they put their face between their knees. Amen. And they put their face between their knees in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And when they have put their, 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 their face between their knees, what are they doing? They are praying. They are praying. They are praying. I covered this on the 1st of July during the inspiration that the man of God prayed how many times? Seven times. And it had seven times is simply to completion. Hallelujah. It is a month that when you pray, it is going to bring you to completion. The man of God is symbolized that I prayed until the case was what? Completed. Amen. Don't pray and stop praying. Pray until the drought has what? Gone. Pray until you have that job. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, for me, I always tell you, for Jaira, I prayed for seven years to have a baby. Seven years. You can imagine, seven years. I just thank God that he's telling with the word of God. Amen. Seven times, seven years equals completion. Then we saw the baby coming. Hallelujah. Everybody during this time was talking a lot of nonsense. When you are in prayer, ladies and gentlemen, accept accept every garbage every garbage people they will bring to you so uh you think you are them you are the only one who knows god you think you are no 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 put your best between your knees in july hallelujah put your best and receive completion in jesus mighty name hallelujah so we after some time, he prays, he sent the guy, seven hours, ah, there's nothing, I can't see anything. So don't worry. Nothing to me means something. Amen. People who are walking in faith, nothing means what? Something. When you are moving in faith, nothing it does not mean nothing. In flesh, nothing means what? Nothing. But when you are in flesh, nothing is substituted with faith because faith is the substance of things hoped for but not yet seen. Therefore, you cannot see nothing. <laughs> you cannot see nothing. <laughs> nothing you can't see. That's what faith is all about. Therefore, pray with faith this, this month. Amen. Pray with faith today. Pray with faith tonight. Pray with faith in the morning. Hallelujah. 
I have always used a challenge of my colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. If my colleagues, the, my colleagues, they can pray five times, seven times a day, how about you? How do you think you can succeed in your, in your life without prayer? What am I saying to you today? You need to go to extremes in order to, attra to attract extremes. Amen. You need to go to extremes if you are going to attract extremes. You need to go to an unusual in order to attract the unusual. You have been praying shallow. Amen. You've been praying what? Shallow. I believe that for that thing not to come through, you've been praying shallow. Why am I saying this? Do you remember when Jesus Christ comes at the show? And he is looking for disciples. The first time he meets John and Peter church, uh, fishing. And the first thing this guy said, Ah, you know what? Jesus, ah, we have toiled overnight. You know, people who pray shallow, they toil. They toil. He says, we've been toiling overnight. And Jesus realized that the, this is the type of people who are praying in the shallow. In the shallow. You know, even if you, if you are a swimmer or you want to learn to swim, you know, you, you, you start swimming in the shallow, it becomes comfortable, comfortable. But when you, you have learned how to swim, it becomes a toil to be swimming in the shallow place. You want to go to what? To the deep. And Jesus says, ah, I know. He didn't even come and say, you've told what you And now I'll teach you. No, he just said, now take the same net. Look, let us say, the same prayer. Take the same prayer. Now, from the shallow end, put it to the deep. Put it to the deep. When Peter did that, you know what happened? Ah, oh, a net breaking. A net breaking miracle happened. And then breaking. This is what this drought is all about. Prayer. That, you know, in a drought, the drought, what it does is it catches all your blessings. It's like this. The drought makes sure it catches your blessings and it starts with sin. With sin. Your blessings, it starts putting them under the heat of the sun that your blessings can disappear. But you got good news today. Hallelujah. As you pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, net breaking, net breaking, hallelujah, net breaking. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I want to, to bring to you today certain people in this month, they should forget that you will exist. Certain situations this month, they should forget that what you exist. Hallelujah. Satan blesses. They should forget that you exist. Why? Certain things this man have to what? Stop if you are going to have this prayer of, of drought ending. Amen. Of drought ending. Joshua 10 verse 12 to 14. Oh, you Keep on going. Joshua 10, verse 12 to 14. Hallelujah. Joshua 10, verse 12 to 14. This is another guy we need to learn from why certain things have to stop. There's certain things they have to forget you this month. Hallelujah. It says, Then Joshua spoke to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said, in the sight of Israel, what did Joshua say? Son, stand still over Gideon and moon in the valley of Ajalon. So the sun stood still and the moon stopped till the people had revenge upon their enemies. Hallelujah. Certain things have to work to stop certain things they should forget that you are alive certain things you can put them aside you can say you know what not this time joshua knew that a drought 
has to be ended of the battle with these people so that God should revenge. God should avenge. I know. Revenge, vengeance is not yours. I know you are busy. We will be giving back. I'll give you back. I'll give you back. No, it's not yours. No. What you need, you can learn from Joshua, is to say, sun, moon. Hallelujah. Stop. Sun, moon. Jack, Jim, Esther, please today stop. Hallelujah. Because I am busy. Amen. I am what? Busy. TV, stop. I am busy. Hallelujah. You can, you know, sometimes these phones, you should calculate. I've calculated at times when the amount of time I'm on the phone. It's like three quarters of your day. It is amazing. You know, they, they, and I love, I love whoever invented the phone. They make sure that after you finish the phone, it gives you an account of how long you've been on that phone. You think he, it was not for, for a reason. He knows. Because if you argue that I am paying high bill, you say, no, no, my friend. Look, this is what you use on my phone. But for you as a child of God, that is information to, to show you how you are wasting time. How much time? The, Sunday, Sunday, oh, Sunday, Sunday. I have never seen in the, in the whole of my life. You know, premier time is Sunday. Premier time is Sunday. Because on Sunday, the moment you say, I want to go to the church. Eee, no, no, no. I, 101 things come through. But look at how many hours you've been spending on the phone, on the phone, not talking to your God. No, look at it. It will astound you. Therefore, sun, moon, must what? Stop. Why? God bless you. Amen. So, sun, stand still, moon, stop till the people had revenge upon their what? Enemies. Amen. Until I have revenge on cancer. Hallelujah. Until I have revenge on HIV. Until I have revenge on anybody that has been plotting for me to have any accident. Until I have... This is what I'm, I am not going to stop this drought. This time, certain people, certain things have to stop. Hallelujah. I can tell you a testimony. My daughter is there. We, we hardly watch TV in our family. We hardly. She is there. I don't know, she doesn't even know the programs on the TV. But when you ask her, have you missed anything? Nothing. You know, every time is like, I have to watch it. At 10 o'clock, I finally didn't even know the answer. I know there used to be end, end West End. What? You want to watch everything. You start channel one to channel two. I don't know, 650. You are on the, it has to stop. Okay, you can continue in August. But in July, you are not permitted. <laughs> you are not permitted because in this house, in this house, we want this word of God that has come to us to manifest. Don't be a roadblock to God manifesting. And you start saying, God spoke. He said that we can't see it. No, you can't see it because you didn't obey. You didn't do it. That's why you can't see it. Other people, why, how come other people are singing? That's the argument. Hallelujah. So, sun and moon, they have to stop until you avenge. Hallelujah. Amen. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, as they wait for you, those things that you are putting aside in the name of Jesus for these 31 days, sickness, diseases, tumor, stress, fractures, accidents, instance, depression, job loss. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, they will wait for you and wait for you until they are wasted. Hallelujah. They will wait for you and they will until they are wasted. In Jesus' name.
Nothing can prevail against the child of God who works upon the on the, on the on the Lord. It's impossible. It cannot happen even for you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I repeat to you, I declare in Jesus' name, sickness, disease, tumors. You know, there are issues waiting. They say when you are growing up, certain things they start coming in your body. Not me. They are waiting, waiting for who? Me at old age. No, no, no. God has told me, even at old age, I shall be fruitful. Hallelujah. So nothing should wait for me tomorrow. That is evil in Jesus' mighty name. As I say, no, please, when they do this, they do this. Not me. When I am in there, I am in charge. I am in command. Hallelujah. Because I have waited upon the Lord. I have waited upon the Lord. Those that wait upon the Lord, they renew want their strength. Amen. They are running like this. They are walking like this. They are waking like this. They are worshiping like this. And they don't go weary. Never, 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 never. Instead, they start mounting wings like what eagles. What am I saying to you today, ladies and gentlemen? How high you jump is according to the power that works in you. How high you jump is according to the what? Power that works in you. Ephesians 3 verse 20. Go for it, John. Ephesians 3 verse 20. How high you jump is according to the what? Power that works in you. Ephesians 3 verse 20. Now to him who is able to do what he is able to do what exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask above what you think. Hallelujah. Let's stop there. That's the most of their prayer. No, let's continue. According to the power that what works in us. Amen. According to the this is how high you can what jump. How high you can jump, people. Prayer is power. Amen. Prayer. A prayerful woman, you cannot play around him. A prayerful man, you cannot play around him. A prayerful worshiper, it, you can't, you can't, you can't come near them. Because prayer is what? Power. What, what it does is that power works in you. And how high you can jump over sickness, over disease, is what according to the power that is what in you. How how you can jump over poverty is according to the power that what works in you. Hallelujah! It's about power. This drought we are talking about in people's lives. It is looking for power. Hallelujah! It is looking for people who are what with power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Say with me, I, I am waiting upon the Lord. I, I am waiting upon the Lord. If this month is going to be honestly never the same in your life. You wait upon the Lord. Everybody who wait upon you, they are wasting your time. They are time. They are wasting their resources. I have seen it in my own life. They talk, we will see if they will finish. We will see if they will do this. We will see that. And you keep on. You keep on. You keep on. Hallelujah. Because you are renewed in strength. Because you mount wings like eagles. And because you run, you do not be weary. And because you walk, you do not faint. Hallelujah. You walk, you run. All these things that have been waiting upon you, you are already empowered in it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My wife came, if you remember, she was speaking the word. I said, praise God. Word confirms. You know what? When people are in prayer, this prayer, especially for this month, this prayer you are engaging in this month of ending a drought. It has got a scoreboard. It has got a reward. Hallelujah. 
and my wife spoke the word. He's got a what? A scoreboard. Hallelujah. 1 Samuel 30, verse 1 to 8. We'll read very quickly. 1 Samuel 30. We'll be going all the way, Tara. Now, it happened when David and his men came to Ziglag. On the third day that Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziglag, attacked the Ziglag and burned it with the fire. Verse 2, Tara and had taken captive the women and those who were there from small to great they did not kill anyone but carried them away and went them away we did a night of prayer on this you know when you want to torture somebody is to carry their loved ones and not kill them that's what it is because if they kill them you say oh well it's end the story but these guys they knew how to torture so they did this verse 4 uh, verse there. Then David and the people were with him, lifted up their voices and wept until they had no more power to what to weep. You know exactly that this is my breakthrough. You know, you know exactly that as a redeemed child of God, I deserve this. As a redeemed child of God, I deserve this breakthrough. But uh, the Amalekites, they are busy taking your blessings alive. They are busy keeping you in disorientation. No, not this month. Hallelujah. Because this month, I'll go like David. Hallelujah. He says, and David's two wives, Ahinoam, the Jezreites, and Abigail, the son, the, the widow of Nabal, the Camelite, had been taken captive. Verse 6. Now David was greatly what? Distressed. Hallelujah. Now David was greatly what? Distressed. I don't know what your situation is making you to be today. For the people spoke of stoning him because the soul of the people was grieved. Every man for his sons and his daughters. But David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. Hallelujah very famous preaching i think you've heard it from 100 preachers david strengthened himself yeah from their god just thinking just thinking just thinking of god you can be strengthened just thinking just meditating just thinking of god you can be just looking at a testimony for somebody you can be you can be strengthened hallelujah so david inquired of the lord saying shall i pursue this truth shall i overtake them and he answered him this is where we live it that's where we are amen now i am saying to you there is a score for your prayer hallelujah this prayer only this prayer is a prophetic word that has come to the house of springs of blood and you are one of them hallelujah now there is a score to those ones who will undertake a prayer of this kind and you know all your blessings have been taken you know everything has been surrounded and you are in bonded stress your blessings are still alive what do you do you go into this kind of what prayer where you put your head between your knees in order to give birth hallelujah you put your head in your knees in order to give what birth. Drought means birth comes. Hallelujah. Drought means when you are praying, this is exactly what I'm doing. Drought means now because now I can see birth. Birth of my divine healing. Birth of my divine breakthrough. Birth of my refreshing of fresh anointing upon my life hallelujah this is what you are to do amen this is what you are what to do put aside forget jim forget jack forget mr mrs and so forth forget all those other activities this month because david knew he said where, where it comes now is uh, losing somebody has to lose if somebody has to lose it should not be me amen that's what, what this prayer is about when i take a scripture says you know what if it is you to lose 
you must be you, not me. Because the one inside me is greater. The one inside me is bigger. The one inside me has given me the anointing to break every yoke, to break every cell of the bondage in Jesus' name. Amen. So, what is the reward for you to you should expect? The moment you take your effort, if you read this story, this guy, he realized that if I start discussing with my Senate, if I discuss it with my, uh, my, my commander-in-chief of the army, it will not work. He is going to tell me other things. But let me go to the commander of the commanders. Hallelujah. Let me go to the commander-in-chief of the commanders. And he took the effort and he said, he came before him and said, hey, it's not all the times, ladies and gentlemen, that you have to pursue. It's not all the times, ladies and gentlemen, that you have to fight. It's not all the times, ladies and gentlemen, where you have to speak. No. Inquire from the Lord during this time. Hallelujah. The Lord will show you what to do. So he took the effort and he inquired of the Lord. He said, ah, should I follow this enemy? Should I pursue this troop? If I pursue, should I, am I going to overtake? And the Lord answered. Amen. Amen. This is the answer from this prophetic word in this month in Jesus' name. The Lord has answered already to you. He's waiting for you to pray. He's waiting for you to engage in this prayer. Hallelujah. Because the Lord is saying to you, ha, ah, the score is you pursue. Hallelujah. When you pursue, what are you going to do? You overtake. And when you overtake what is going to happen, you will recover all. You will recover all. You will recover all. In July, in August, take my word, we will hear great testimonies. In August, you will hear great testimonies here. Hallelujah. There was a month last month, last month, last month, testimony upon testimony. But in this one, in change, in change, and you know what? We will see a testimony that you should have had the best for 10 years ago. Lifetime testimonies. I am declaring that you will not die every lifetime testimony that you needed to have is being recovered now. Because as you pray, you are pursuing, you are pursuing, you are overtaking, you are recovering all. Hallelujah. It's about making sure even if the, the tea of your blessing, the container of your blessing, even if it has put it upside down, it is impossible, isn't it? They put it upside down, this one will not take money. Let's put it upside down like this. But with God, all things are what? Possible. We will take it like this and put it like this. Why? Because the more can't they have to know that there is a God in Israel. Because there is a God in what? In Israel. He hears them. Hallelujah. When they pray, He hears them. Hallelujah. So the scoreboard is recovering what everything, getting everything in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You see, wait upon the Lord. This 31 days, wait upon the Lord. Make God a serious business. Amen. Make God things a lifetime serious business. And when you are serious with God, you go to extreme. And he goes to extreme. Suddenly, the power in you, it just makes you float. They look for you in darkness, they can't find you. God has put you in the light. They will never, they use that, this one, you know, if you expect to find Jehoshaphat, if you walk down this way, you find Jehoshaphat. No. They will not find Joseph because the repositioning has what happened. The repositioning has what taken place in every side of your life. 
it doesn't matter the workers, ladies and gentlemen. I arise today in the name of Jesus Christ. It was my prayer throughout this week that I pray against the fractures. I saw somebody with the fractures. I pray against the fracture. I don't want to wear anything against the fracture. No. No, 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 no. I pray against fractures. I pray against tumors. It's the talk of the town. No tumor. It's not my portion. I pray for something. Do you know that it's only God who's, who, who, who heals the soul? Do you know it's only God who heals No one can heal It's only God who heals the soul. Therefore, God, during my prayer, heal my soul. Everything that was working in my soul, heal it in Jesus' name. Anything that had the capacity, anyone who had the interest to destroy my soul today, in Jesus name hallelujah Man, stress they are not my portion I don't do stress you can go there I don't do stress no I do everything willingly with joy with passion with hope hallelujah so this is the man I say oh God I am stressed I'm so stressed. I'm, what are you stressed about when you have got somebody who's bigger inside you than stressed? Why are you proclaiming all these negatives upon yourself when you've got a hundred positives in your life that have already happened? A challenge. I challenge you to prayer this month. Regardless of whatever would happen. Remember we read about Nehemiah. I repeat, Nehemiah said, that's our age. Nehemiah said, that's our age. Amen. You know, when you are doing this, what I've realized is, when you start, you just make your mind that I'm going to do this. Hey! You, you see these people, they come. And all that, they are easy. They will take up. I, I, we, and, uh, we, 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 we are going to, in springs of life, we are going to pray. You should see, the moment we get to the springs of life, we are now going to pray. You should see, four people on the inspiration line, four people on the morning prayer. I said, we pray it in the name of Jesus. This becomes a, a challenge the moment you proclaim. Hallelujah. But when you proclaim, you know that it is from one who does exceedingly more than. Hallelujah. So, Sanballat, how, wow, it happened. When Sanballat, Tobiah, Geshem, the Arab, and the rest of our enemies heard that I had rebelled the war, and that there were no graves left in it, though at that time I had not hung the doors in the gates, verse 2, that Sanballat, Geshem, sent to me saying come let us meet together among the villages in the plain of honor but they thought to do me what harm <laughs> verse three so i sent messengers to him saying i am doing great work so that i cannot come down <laughs> Why should the work cease while I leave it and go down to you? I'm saying you, you, need, you need this breakthrough. Certain people, they will be inviting you for dinner. You know when you, you I'm saying you need to proclaim fasting and prayer. It's the first thing you arrive at the office. People who don't even make you a cup of coffee, they will be asking, I'm making a cup of coffee. Do you want one? So, I am so you need to send messengers amen, to certain people to certain situations today you need to send them. my friend I am doing a great work, work don't be fooled they know you are doing great work because you look beautiful you look handsome you look happy they know but God is doing one great work in you. They know. Don't be cheated. Don't be deceived. 
So what do they do? They come and say, let's meet down in the village, you and me, in order to do you harm. They want to bring you back to the addiction you never use, you, you, you said bye to. They want to bring you in a situation where you end up ghosting, ending up talking about the rest of the world, but not you. Ghosting is talking about other people. This is my definition. You talk about everybody else except you. That's ghosting. So I sent messengers to them saying, I am doing a great work so that I cannot come down. Why should the work of the Lord cease while I live? Let's go to verse 4. Oh. But they sent me this message four times. Hey. Yolanda, four times. The guy didn't stop. It was the same message. <laughs> Let's meet down in the what? village. Let's be that I need to pray. Let's be down in the village. I need to pray. You know what? BBC. <laughs> the same message. <laughs> oh, that, and I answered them in the same word, manner. The same question, the same answer. The same word, question, the same word, answer. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's right. <laughs> Then St. Ballard sent his servant to me as before, the fifth time with an open letter in his hand. That's it. Oh, Jesus, this word. It, it was written. It is reported among the nations, and Gesham says that you and the Jews plan to rebel. Therefore, According to these rumors, you are rebuilding the wall, and that you may be their king. It's all lies. Uh, enjoy yourselves. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for your people, Father, as they have now ascended and plan to pray. Your spirit be with them. Your spirit enable them. Your spirit Spirit, encourage them to pray. Receive that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Is the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit reveal in the name of Jesus Christ the heart of the Father to your destination. The heart of the Father to your heart. The heart of your Father to your marriage, to your relationship, to your children, to your business, to your ministry, to your calling. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let this July, in Jesus' name indeed, be a period of uh, pursuing, a period of overtaking, a period of uh, overtaking it all. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank God for you got the victory. Having come before the presence of God this morning, I thank God because you got victory over sickness, victory over disease, Victory over stress, over any failure, over any hindrances, over any spirit of hopelessness. Father, it is an all around victory for somebody, for the people that are standing before me today. Because you are faithful, we honor you, we give you all the glory. As we proceed to our homes, I plead the blood of Jesus on everyone, mighty God. Thank you. We glorify you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Clap hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. We honor him. In Jesus' name.